Speak handsome and beautiful, today we are going to talk about art in the Roman Empire, history lovers already like and share the video with family and friends, if you are not subscribed consider subscribing and activate the bell so you don't miss any video and let's grow this community of history lovers. So enough rambling and let's talk about what matters. The Society of Rome gave a lot of space to the arts in its most varied forms, because in a society with most of them illiterate, art played an important educational and socializing role, as it enshrined ideologies, narrated historical events, integrated civic and religious events, glorified eminent characters, thus functioning as a kind of lingua franca for the illiterate population. Roman art was greatly influenced by the Etruscan tradition and Greek culture after Rome conquered the Greek regions, with arts of Hellenistic character to arts of its own identity, Roman art is complex and very variable, making it impossible to classify it in a single block. And uniform. Even if their works reached the apex being considered divine offerings, the artists did not have so much relevance being considered only as manual workers and having a low social status. Roman architecture was very much based on arches, with large domes and vaults which made it very different from Greek architecture, this level of architecture was only possible thanks to the use of concrete, which was a mixture of volcanic ash with lime, and this mixture it was used to join stucco, bricks, stones, or marble, which made the Roman buildings last a long time, having some examples to this day in some Roman cathedrals. The use of cupolas and vaults was very common in baths, villas, palaces, tombs, audience halls, imperial palaces, and garden pavilions, the use of arches was very common in aqueducts, it was during the reign of Trajan and Hadrian that the empire reached its artistic apogee, with large constructions of monuments, assemblies, gardens, aqueducts, baths, palaces, pavilions, sarcophagi, and temples. The painting was very popular, but there are not many paintings nowadays, much of what we know of Roman paintings are in frescoes in the Pompeii houses that were preserved due to the destruction of the city by the eruption of the volcano Vesuvius, the paintings could contain either geometric elements, as allusions to nature and erotic themes, the paintings could be made in fabric, metal, stone, ivory and other types of supports, using vegetable or mineral pigments. A type of painting that is very common even today in some countries is the funeral portrait, which is a painting with the face of the deceased, and as the cost of these portraits was low even ordinary families could have one of these paintings. Sculpture was the most common type of Roman art, with great Greek influences, focused more on the expressiveness and realism of great public personalities, but sculpture was also widely used in the construction of Roman monuments such as the Triumphal Arch, Altar of Peace and the Trajan Column, it was very common to make busts and place them on sculpted bodies with perfect musculature for men and characteristic clothes of pagan goddesses for women. Decorative art was also common and much sought after by wealthier families, such as ceramic pieces, silver or bronze vessels and utensils and glass artifacts, with decorations in the form of geometric designs or mosaics with mythological scenes. Music and dance in the empire were very common in practically all social and funeral events, the instruments were made of wood, brass, string, and wind, with the tibia, zither, horn, and hydrolo, more popular, the piano was had the famous plays of the Greek mask theater that portrayed mythological stories or the mime that was a piece of improvisation, foul language, humor, sexual scenes, action sequences, and political satire, interspersed with dance numbers, acrobatics, juggling, funambulism, striptease and even dancing bears. Literature was difficult to access by the population as the books had to be manuscripts on papyrus and could contain many grammatical errors, some neighborhoods of Rome were famous for their literary taverns and the books had varied themes from poetry to classical stories.